I'm sorry I can't do more. Uh, no, listen, she's getting the help that she needs because of you. You made this happen. Thank you. It was the least that I could do. Listen, I will check in with you later. Bye. Tess is finally at St. Anne's. So you made the deal with Cutter? Yeah. He took me for a bundle, but it's done. Now you can tell your good-for-nothing wife to take a hike. I already did. What's wrong? I'm a coward and a hypocrite. I'm always pushing them, I'll be brave, be strong. Yet I didn't have the guts to tell my husband the truth. That the baby I told him I was carrying never existed. Yeah, well, I found out what happens when you tell the truth. I told Joey everything. You confessed? How could you do this to me, Aubrey? Where am I gonna live? I mean, at least all the lies I told him didn't prevent me from keeping a roof over my Calm head. Calm down, okay? I convinced Joey that if he threw me out, Ryder would end up in foster care. Oh my god, thank Vishnu. No, it's not a good thing. I hurt Joey. You don't understand. You should have seen his face. It broke his heart when I admitted that Cutter and I have just been conning him this whole time. I just hear my name. How did you get in here? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna turn that frown upside down. I have good news. All right, make it quick. This place bugged? Uh, not that I know of. Good. Then you can stop pretending to care about the kid. I do care about and the We kid. don't need Joey anymore either, because I just cut a deal with Clint. Got Tess committed. Really? Still jealous? Of you and Tess? I only married her so I could succeed where you had failed. Namely, in squeezing every dime out of your husband. See? That's my new account balance, thanks to a generous transfer from your beloved father-in-law. <laughs> oh my god, Aubrey! All three of us are set for life! We can be together again. I want you back. You know, I didn't take your advice. I know you wanted me to play things close to the vest, but... I couldn't pretend that there was nothing wrong between Aubrey and I anymore. Not after Kelly almost died. And life is too short to waste another minute with Aubrey. All right, what did you tell her? That I knew everything. That she and Cutter lied to me about being brother and sister, that they were actually lovers, and that the only reason she married me was for our family's money. And what did she say to that? She admitted to everything. Of course she did. She also told me that she loved me. Oh. That her feelings were real and that she had changed. Oh. I hope you threw that little bitch out. No, Dad, no, I didn't. You want to be with me. I told you already, Cutter, I love Joey. No, you don't. You don't. Those feelings aren't real, Aubrey. What we have, that's real. With you married to someone else. Things between Tess and I are done. What we have is really good. We just got derailed. It's okay, though. I fixed everything. You did? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to play house anymore, all right? I mean, snagging the kid, that was, that was a good move. But now that Tess is in St. Anne's, Jessica's gonna come back. Ryder's gonna go back to his mommy. So you don't need to play Mrs. Cleaver anymore. You can dump Joey. Come on. I can give you everything you want. Take the deal, Aubrey. What else do you have now that Joey knows everything? Wait, you, Joey what? She admitted everything to Joey. And now he hates her guts. You're all Aubrey has left. Joey, I hope you didn't buy that load of crap that Aubrey was trying to sell you. You don't honestly think she has feelings for you, do you? Hell no, no. Dad, no, absolutely not. It's just that she pointed out the fact that if we split up, you know, we lose custody of Ryder. And I can't let some strangers take care of my sister's child. I know, I don't want my grandson in foster care. But Tess is now at St. Anne's, and soon Jesse will be able to be a mom again to Ryder and Bree, and then you can kick that Aubrey to the curb. I just want you to watch your back. Make damn sure that you're free of that woman. Excuse me, Dad, there's nothing more that I want than to be free of her, too. Okay. All right, and then maybe I can have a chance to go ahead and get Kelly back. But anyway, what about you? What about me? Dad, you just confessed to everything. I My confession. <laughs> Why did you do it? 
You've been dodging these charges for months. What made you come clean now? Joey, just don't worry about my confession. It was just time to settle all my accounts. No, I just want you to take very good care of my grandson. I'm on my way home to do that just now. Okay. Um, that could be a problem. What do you mean? Oh, uh, Cutter drove a hard bargain, and, well, I had to agree. I only agreed for Jesse's sake. Yeah, what are you talking about? I had to give Cutter Paul's house. So in order to give my sister the help that she's needed for months, Cutter blackmailed you into giving him our home. Yeah, that about sums it up. You know, Dad, this is the one time I wish it was just like you. I'd show Cutter the business end of a shotgun. Don't, son. Whatever you do, don't you ever be like your old man. Dad, are you sure you're okay? You go get that baby of yours, and you go find him a new home. I will. Look, I, I hope you can uh, stay out of jail, man. Because the rider's gonna need his grandpa. Yeah. Love you. Wait, so you told Joey about us, the scam, all of it? Clint is the one who spilled everything. All I did was confirm it. And if not for Ryder, we'd all have been homeless. But you know what? Now you've solved all our problems. And I'd very much like my wedge of the pie as soon as humanly possible, please. Rama, can I talk to Aubrey alone for a minute? No, and leave you two to abscond with the jackpot? I think not. Okay. It doesn't matter that Joey knows now. Okay, because we're all good. <laughs> we're good to go. I love you. But I don't love you anymore, Cutter. I love my husband. And I'm gonna spend the rest of my life trying to make up for what I did to him. I'm gonna find a way to make you love me again. Oh, yeah, I know you don't believe me, but I'm not staying with you just for Ryder. I'm staying because I love you. You know, I've known my friend a long time, and I've never seen her like this. I think she means it. So she loves you, huh, JoJo? I heard that one, too. So you really had no idea that Aubrey and I weren't related until your daddy told you. That. It's hilarious. Aubrey and I, we had so many laughs about all Gotta that. Gotta stop it! And then I'd carry her off into bed. You know, if I had a dime every time that I nailed your wife behind your back, I'd be richer than all you Buchanans. Thanks for jumping in, Alps. Just go. Just take your money and get out of here. See, that's the thing. I'm not going anywhere. You are. What are you talking about? This is my house. So get the hell out. 